Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. <sighs> you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <sighs> there. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Lud's son. Griff was injured. The Maester is looking after him. I'm aware of Griff's injuries, and that you inflicted them. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. 
I'm not sure how he managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Ah! No! Stop! Ah! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Ah! Please! Please! Talia, don't look away. It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry. But they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. Poor lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing. Wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No, oh, I'm uh, I'm a friend. Don't move.
This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on forester lands. What would father think? Arthur. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. For how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick! Tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No! Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now, to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies... Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. I wish things had worked out differently between us. I feel so alone. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. 
I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Thank you for your help. They'll be very grateful. I better go before she sees me. She will be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. still angry at me? What do you think? I think I deserve a little gratitude. He's dead. I shouldn't care how it happened. It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. 
and yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. The man was a fucking master. He deserved to that die. That was not for you to decide. Not only did you disobey my orders, you are insolent and deceitful. You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second sons. What? But, Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. And you made me promises you did not keep. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. The little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross the bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a direwolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter. I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. That? <laughs> That's barely a scratch. 
It's infected. It's not healing. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Well, you may have to. I'm not abandoning her. You can go find the North Grove all by yourself for all I care. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Garrett. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrett. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but... I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <sighs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Where's your mother now? Hard to say for sure. Probably dead. Our village decided Sylvie wasn't welcome there, and our mother... <laughs> she didn't want to leave. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Your whole village just kicked you out. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. But she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Little Moon. Wonder if her mother gave her that. Oh, 
This is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Oh, well, it's not so bad. Don't know how you'd want this around. I'll be fine, Garrett. You don't have to keep looking at me like that. Any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? If crows were so easy to kill, Mance Raider would be south of the wall by now. He didn't want to be south of the wall till now. Good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I may do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. You'll do nicely, little one. Will that be enough? <laughs> You've ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. May not be as good as the feast you used to at the wall, but we won't starve, that's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost everything. My old life. My house. All I ever wanted was to fight for the foresters. This house? It was important to you? They treated me like one of their own. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is, then? I know where they say it is. But you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? A 
few years back, one of the Ice River clan set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. You speak their language. We didn't part on the best of terms. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me. You don't want to get involved, Russia. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. If it isn't Beskar, the fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two... You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, my God. 
Well, hello there. Amaya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. Wait, 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 wait! I'm with her! Your friend, Beska, said you two were all partners. Your friend made a big mistake. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me, on all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Leave her alone! I don't care what your history is. Veska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. Sail with me to Westeros and do to my enemies what you do best. Slay them all and lay waste to their lands. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters, artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, the way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once, and could be again. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right, who? Oh. You? <laughs> His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> Your uncle needs looking after as much as I do. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. <laughs> you all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did! I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine! You fight dirty! I like that! Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this!
No weapon worthy of blood. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> This would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? <laughs> Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. Your old champion is gone, as are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. I offer you all a new life. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me and you will have glory and gold. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God, go 
Over here! Over here! You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet. Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? 
Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have in the past, but I won't anymore. You're a clever girl, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. You go first. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for.
So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister, and I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Mm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. 
Hello, Elena. Oh, I I didn't realize you two were. It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just this is urgent, Roderick. And it's it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon. I hope. All right then. I'm listening. Last night I couldn't. I was having nightmares, so I. Go on, Talia. I went back there. The grove, and someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held. It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, were you seen, Talia? No, it was dark, but I saw him. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick, but it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons, but no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me, and mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the great hall. Guards. Oh. oh, my lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. What did he offer you? Land? Gold? A lordship? He didn't offer me anything. So you turned your cloak freely then? What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. You told them everything, Duncan. Our plans, our strategies! I only told them enough to keep us from war. But why? Because you're reckless, Roderick! Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy! But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Flagrantly defying Griff and leaving Ortengrin to pay the price. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. Are you mad, Duncan? You're not saving us, you've destroyed us. It's only because of me. You haven't all been slaughtered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. 
and you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. Hurts me to say that. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> As I said. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save a life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. It was the right thing. What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Smell that. We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your Lord Brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A Lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's Lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Huh. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher! Thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lud's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What? Get 
open! It's been a while since I killed any White Hills. It's up to us! Asha! Raise the gate! They've got us outnumbered! Oh, shit! We have to get out of here! without one of us holding it! One of us has to stay! Asha! Come on! Don't you believe me! Asha? You must hurry! Let me save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off! Oh my lord! You Asher can't. is your new lord! Yes! My lord! Roderick! Go! Take as many of them as you can with you! 